those Filipinos or not. Okay. There was peace talk uh, October 7, and there were tears in the eyes of the Muslim rebel leader, uh, which was not caught by tape, but which was written by people who were there. But then I'm cautiously optimistic because there have been scores of peace talks and peace agreements. Uh, and I knew Northern Illinois University had hosted many people of different ethnicities and religions, but noting that Muslims are not monolithic. Therefore, uh, there, there's the Tauso, the Banjao, the Maranao, the Maguindanao, the Irano, the Yakan, etc., etc. And uh, therefore, uh, if there are multiple ethnicities of Muslims, there are multiple notions of conflict, conflict resolution, and peace building as well. So there's no monolithic definition of what is conflict, etc. So three things are covered in this paper. Questions, number one, so what do Muslims in the Philippines, that's the, that's the most generic way of looking at it, view conflict? Number one, number two, conflict resolution, and number three, peace building. Uh, these will be the objectives of the paper, and the photos you see are actual photos of the program. They, they sign waivers, too, all of them. So number one, the framework would be uh, who has the power, who, whoever has the power decides what knowledge will be imposed on the people. Therefore, you have a hegemonic culture, the political, cultural, economic hegemony set by one group of people, against which you have the Muslims creating a counter hegemony in the Philippines. So definition of terms, conflict resolution, you have uh, from the United Nations, Charter of the United Nations, 1945, talked about negotiation, inquiry, mediation, conciliation, arbitration, regional organization mechanism, and so on. Conflict transformation looks at justice-related actions, and everyone quotes later on here. And uh, peacemaking, again, uh, talks about uh, the search for negotiated uh, resolution of the conflict. So it's more one point in time. Whereas peace, uh, uh, when we talk of uh, structural violence, we're talking about everything that affects people, not just the political violence. Could be economic, oppression, uh, poverty, and so on and so forth. Uh, this paper is limited to looking at the work of uh, the voices of the Maguindanao, Maranao, Iran, and also Muslims, uh, some of the Muslim ethnicity. The woman in red is a Muslim princess uh, of the Tauso uh, uh, family. Methodology is a qualitative paper uh, describing. Uh, what are the views of the different uh, people. And this is not a purely academic work. Rather, it came out of practice in our programs at Northern Illinois University. And full disclosure, I'm a Chinese Filipino. And I'm not Muslim, full disclosure. My father is Buddhist, Taoist, and Confucian. My mom is Christian and animist. I inherited all of the above. And research data collection method, it's, uh, we work with our Muslim participants uh, when they come to NIU, Northern Illinois University, uh, doing participatory action research because one of the products of their work when they come to NIU is to produce a project which will be implemented uh, when they return home within three months. So concrete action is uh, produced when our participants go back to solve reports, uh, interview with social media, there's back and forth of uh, asking questions. Uh, key informant, you have one, Dr. Abu Bakar, he's a professor and undersecretary of uh, trade and industry in the Muslim region. Uh, you have Boki Attar, who's head of an organization that deals with conflict resolution. Uh, as you can see, Nelson Dino, he looks like an artist and he is. Uh, and he makes films, writes poetry, and he also uh, taught agricultural subjects. And you have Cal Mambuai. She is presently the secretary of the government in the Anand region, autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao. She was a professor of uh, philosophy. And you have uh, Barok Mutara, uh, who aspires to be a lawyer and works on peace building groups with Catholic groups and Muslim groups. So all of the key informants, including Dr. Azad Sattar, are Muslims of different ethnicities. And he's the 